Glenn Roder came to West Ham a couple of years ago as reserve team coach. Now finds himself in charge after Harry Redknapp's departure. Hutchison now slips it through. Paulo Di Canio. That's the West Ham way. A sharp, neat, incisive move. And Di Canio delivers for West Ham United. Wonderful to watch. And Ipswich just couldn't keep up. It all happened rather too quickly for them. West Ham hoping to cure a serious bout of travel sickness. It's Venus who sends it swirling in. And Hislop caught out. And Herman Horidison has equalised for Ipswich. And few how they needed that at Portman Road. I think Hislop and others might have been expecting Royster to take this, but Venus suddenly stepped up. Hislop almost caught out. And as he tried to force it away, it cannoned in off Horidison. West Ham are biting back now. Hutchison has done very well. And Canute, and it's deflected in. West Hammer back in front. Don Hutchison led the Hammers charge. And Canute's attempt went in off, ironically, Herman Horidison, who scored Ipswich's goal. Rampaging run from Hutchison. And not a lot that Sereni could do about that. Carrick boots that one up towards Defoe, and he could be in here. It's Jermaine Defoe! A Premiership star is born. And for once, it's all smiles for West Ham United on their travels. An injury time clincher, Defoe shook off Garso, and there was never any doubt after that. This kid doesn't miss. He hasn't been missing for his country, England, and what he's done for his country, he's now done for his club. Holland, a oh, bad try! Oh. Matt Holland scores against his former club, the club that let him go, but it's probably come too late for Ipswich. Super strike, though, 